Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome back to Aircraft Structures 1. This is Professor Anup Ghosh from Aerospace Engineering IIT Kharagpur. We are in the third week's lectures. Uh, this is lecture number 15 covering space structures. And uh, we have solved problems related to space structures. One landing gear problem has been solved uh, in, in our last lecture. We will attempt one more to solve, but before that this is simple recapitulation that is the reason in the last line you see the mention of a landing gear problem. Other things it is better to keep in mind what we have learned so far that is the reason I have put all the points in this, this way. Uh, points are history of solid mechanics, structural analysis and uh, different types of aircrafts and then we went to the loads. We have also learned details of uh, aircraft structures, how thin wall structures are used uh, and in we have learned the flight envelope, we have learned the load factor, uh, how load factor varies at different situations, limit load, ultimate load, uh, all those things we have learned, shear and moment on wing we have learned, how it uh, it comes, we, how, how do we need to calculate those from the external loads as well as on the fuselage. So, with that uh, introduction and recapitulation, let us go for uh, today's problem solving. We will get introduced more in the uh, space structures. So, uh, before we continue further, uh, it is time to introduce the landing gear in a proper way. So, what we have done here is that what are the key components of landing gear and how do those things act that has been described. So, let us see. Landing gear a typical example of space structure. The landing gear structure withstand the ground reaction and shock load when the aircrafts come into contact with the ground during landing. In ideal landing condition, the aircraft should land the ground with zero vertical velocity, but the actual condition it does have a vertical velocity and experience considerable ground reaction. So, this is the reason we need to need to design the landing gear properly, so that it withstands the ground impact and uh, it, it uh, facilitates the landing in all aspects. Landing gear consists of basically three parts. We, we say that shock absorber, torque links, tension compression member. Here is a brief description of the members. Let us have a look. The shock absorber consists of two telescopic tubes. As the shock absorber is com compressed, oil is forced through an orifice in an airtight chamber and the energy from the landing impact is absorbed by the oil and air. This shock mechanism is called oleostrut, Transmit, transmits bending moments through the two telescopic tubes. The tubes, however, are free to rotate with respect to each other and adjust the additional members uh, it, it free to rotate with respect to each other and adjust and additional members are called torque links are required to resist the torsional moments. So, uh, 
this is uh, all about the oleostrat member. Oleostrat member, if I give you a one modern day example, is, is available in all motorbikes almost. So, those are the oleostrat member uh, and then uh, this as it is mentioned using those tubes, it carries the bending moment. But since the tubes rotate on one on the other, it is not able to resist the torque, but we need to resist the torque that is the reason we need to put the additional torque links. Lastly, the measuring force are transmitted to the body of the aircraft by means of tension compression members. So, there are tension compression members in addition to that we will see with the example how it is carried out. In our example, we will not come consider that the oleostrat member is under bending. We will only try to find out loads at the end of the end of the ends of the members. This is the example we will understand. This is the figure, this is the oleostrat. So, it has to withstand these, these are the two force members, this is a two force member, this is a two force member. You please look at the, there is a projection from here to here where the wheel is attached. Please uh, keep a keep keep it in please observe the coordinate system this is di drag direction and this is the vertical direction this is the side direction. So, that is the reason here it is shown that V s plane that means if you if you look from this ang angle this is the view that is the reason we see this projected one and if you look from this this side we have this view that is on the v d plane this is the v d plane on that v d plane we have this look. Please keep it in mind the dimensions because all the dimensions are not mentioned in the other diagrams I have tried my best to keep associated with this figure so that dimensions uh, you see. Uh, some important points let me share that this hinge point is below below the top level this is the top level if we see this point has a distance of 3 inch from the center line of the oleostrat this is also at 3 inch apart so please uh, note these two points this level as it is mentioned is here and this is also that level so please keep it in mind these levels so uh, other things if we see the general description general steps for analysis determination of the parameters of the landing gear that is base track clearance angle, height etcetera, ground load calculation on the nose landing unit and on the main landing unit, design of individual members of the nose and main landing gear. This is about overall landing gear analysis. The example what we will be solving is find the forces acting on all members of the landing gear shown in the figure. Assume only torsion may act on a member, but no bending. So, with that consideration we will try to find out, let us see how the problem has been considered. Okay. Some more uh, preliminary understanding we need to follow otherwise it will be difficult to understand the problem properly. For convenience the reference axis V D and S will be taken as shown in figure above with the V axis parallel to the oleostrat, V axis parallel to the oleostrat, free body diagram of oleostrat and the horizontal members are shown in the figure below. This is 
in the next slide that figure is there, uh, this figure is not exactly the free body diagram. Free body diagrams will come uh, in the in next slides. This is again repeated for understanding of other features. Force perpendicular to the plane of the plane of the paper are shown by a circular dot or a cross. For a force towards the observer is the dot that means this force is towards me. If we look at in this diagram this force is actually acting this way that is the reason it is towards me and this component this component is nothing but this component. So, those two components are found out this please keep it in mind these are not very precise calculation these values are approximated to these values. So, that the calculation becomes easy, but principle is only to find the sin and cos component of that particular angle 15 degree this angle is 15 degree. So, with that understanding we can easily resolve the forces from the tire to the landing gear. The V component of 2000 pound force is 2000 20000 sorry not 2000 20000 cos 15 degree is 19300 pound and D component is 5190 pound. I repeat these are approximated to close rounded figure. So, that calculation becomes easy. Okay. So, the free body diagram what we were discussing is this free body diagram uh, where we need to find out torsions at this point also. This point is joined with this I, I G member, this I J member. So, there will be torsion comp values here, uh, torsional moments here that we need to find out and other force components are shown here what are uh, to act at this. Initially, we will not consider uh, this top member I j, we will consider the remaining portion this member as well as that means I want to say we will be considering this point as A. A e we will be considering C g we will be considering E h for our analysis and then uh, we will will find out the other forces. We will also find out here it is as mentioned that E v E d E s also we need to find out along with the torsion T e here. So, let us see. Uh, this is what understanding we need to solve the problem. Let us see what is scripted here. The angle of the side brace member CG with the V axis is tan inverse 12 by 18. Tan inverse 12 by 18 I think you can get from here this is the 18 and the 12 is uh, coming from this 3 is getting minus this this is the 3 this is the angle. So, this is 12 this is 18. So, from there we get the angle a uh, necessary angle to resolve the C g C g is on that plane that this is the C g this this plane view is put here and from there we get the components. <coughs> the V and S components of the force in member C g are C g cost 33.7 degree it comes 832 of C g and C g the other component that is S component this is V component 
and this is S component. So, the drag brace member B H is at an angle of 45 degree that is quite clear from here because uh, you see why it is 45 as it is said this is 23 these two are at the same level this is this is 3 so this is 23 minus 3 is this is 20 and this is also 20 so that makes the angle 45 degree and accordingly we get that v and d this is with respect to v this is with respect to d the drag base member bh is at an angle 45 degree with v axis and the components are of the force in this member along V and D axis are uh, it is a kind of repetition by mistake. So, please ignore that part let us proceed to the next page. Okay. So, we have uh, found out in the last slide that components of, of uh, the C G and this C G and B H in vertical and horizontal direction, uh, horizontal in the side as well as in the drag direction. Let us see how do we proceed further to find out other forces. The six unknown forces E V, E D, E S, C G, B H and T E acting on the oleostrut are now obtained from the following equations. To find out T E what we can do? We can consider a moment as it is mentioned here moment E V that means in vertical direction E V through the point E in the di vertical direction. If we consider that what do we have? We have component of this only because uh, on this line if we consider the plane this way these two are acting in the same plane. So, they, they, they do not have any uh, torsion as well as the C G components which is acting this way and this way this way as well as this way where uh, this one this way uh, I think uh, this is may be corrected this is acting this way. So, these two are on the same plane. So, that that is the reason you do not have any component and what we have only component of this which is 8 inch apart from the line and that gives us the torsional moment acting at this point E. If we proceed further this oleostrut member is again put here in a different view. V D view is put here that means, we are looking it from this direction we are looking from this direction. So, as it is convention we have seen this is the force this is the force which is uh, from me towards the board acting uh, acting on this particular point uh, cgs cgs is acting in that direction and other forces are shown so if we put it here that direction this is this way and this is this way this is uh, this is uh, c g s okay so uh, we are considering moment about m e s about uh, point is this in the direction of s 
which is the direction of S, here it is D, that means direction of S is along this line, along this line we are considering the moment. If we are considering moment along this line, what will happen? C G and C G S and C G V will not have any component on that moment equation. Even this and this will have some component our vertical force B V, B H V and B H D will have component. B H V is apart uh, say 3 inch apart, this is the B V 3 inch apart and B H D which is 20 inch apart as it is mentioned in the previous diagram uh, here also it is mentioned 20 inch. So, that is coming and the directions is as it is shown it is acting this way this is a a d acting in this direction this is definitely in the other direction about this point this way this is this way this is also this way so that is the reason these two are minus and this is plus is considered so if we if we write that uh, with the components as we have done in the last slide what we get that B H value is 14050 pound and since we have the relation with the B H V and B H D those are equal and that value is 9930 pound. Okay. Uh, so, we have come to the stage where we need to find out the other forces uh, in the member C G. In the last slide we have found out the member force of B H. Uh, in this slide uh, before we go forward for any other thing, uh, it is uh, better to correct a small mistake. Uh, this value is by mistake has 1 0 has come extra. In all previous figures also you please consider that this value is 5190 pound. So, with that value we will continue and we will see how the other forces we get. So, with this, uh, this slide we will be concentrating to find out the member forces in the member C G, C G S as well as C G D, C G S and C G V we will be con con finding out that means vertical as well as the horizontal in the side direction forces we need to find out. To do that, we are considering the free body diagram as it is shown here. All the forces are acting as we have mentioned dot is something which is acting from the board towards me. So, uh, the other force members B H V B H D already we have described those are not having any component here particularly because we are considering from the point E in the direction D from the point E in the direction D that is in this direction in this line we are considering the moment equation. So, if we are considering moment equation in that line what will be the components? Components will be from the vertical force 19300 pound which is 8 inch apart. We will have components from in this point as uh, C G S as well as C G V it is that is also shown here. C G V is 3 inch apart if you look at the other drawings in previous case this is 3 inch distance from here to this point from the center line to this point this is 3 inch. So, that is that 3 inch comes here and the 20 inch as it is mentioned here is this is 20 inch. Oh, here it is mentioned sorry this 3 inch is already mentioned here. So, now about the direction see this this A V is about this about this point in this figure we are considering moment. So, this is rotating in this direction that means anti clockwise direction. Uh, about this this is rotating C G S rotating in the clockwise direction that is the reason C G S is the opposite of sign than this vertical force and C G V that is also in clockwise direction that is the reason these two are considered positive and this is considered negative. 
So, if you solve this algebraic equation, what do we get that C g is equals to 11,350 pound and the components as we have already found out from the angles that C g s equals to 6,300 pound and C g v is equals to 9,440 pound. Now, with the with the other forces let us see how do we find out we are considering considering the horizontal vertical uh, uh, that means horizontal two directions S and D and vertical one direction summation of forces we will be considering and we will try to find out the forces acting at E that means E V, E S and E D. So, how do we do? Uh, this is from this from 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 this figure if we look at summation of vertical direction forces we are to consider from vertical direction forces what are the components will come C G V will come this is there C G V is coming here one more will come. here this is B H V, this is B H V and this is C G V, C G V. So, direction I have by mistake given opposite C G V is downward, but the B H V is actually upward that is the reason these two this 19300 and B H V are acting in the same direction and C C G V is acting downward. E V is considered along the direction of C G V and it is found that the direction assumed is correct that is the reason we are getting the value of E V as 19790 pound. Similar way if we consider Similar way if we consider the S direction, in the S direction we have E S and C G S only, C G S and E S only. So, that gives us the value of 6300 pound E S. E D direction if you see E D we have two forces, one is this as I have mentioned this 0 is not there. So, that is the reason we have these two forces that is uh, the B H D and A D and E D. So, assumed direction is on that same direction of A D and we get the E D value as force 4740 pound. So, the unknowns what we have uh, we have considered for the member oleostart is known now uh, the torsional moment at end E as well as three components of forces and the other forces acting on this like this member, this member force, this member force coming here, three components here and T E that makes the that means four unknowns here, this is fifth unknown, this is sixth unknown, all the six unknowns are determined for the oleostrut member. We, do, we have one more member at the beginning as we have uh, already mentioned that I j we need to find out the forces. So, we will see in our next drawing the detailed drawing of figure of I j and how all those forces are acting on it. Okay. So, we have to find out the horizontal forces I j uh, sorry member forces in the member I j and uh, the free body diagram is shown below, I j will now be considered as a free body. The forces obtained above are applied to this member as shown in the respective figure and these five unknown reactions are obtained as follows. If we consider in the S direction the member forces, we have already found out that the E S and G S values, these two values are same that is the reason it is acting one to the opposite to the other and that's, that gives us that I s is equals to 0. Now, we are supposed to find out along the summation of forces along I d 
uh, at point in the direction drag in the direction drag in this direction if we see what we have we have E v this is not f this is m i e d this is m we are considering moment about i e d from the point in the direction d so, if we consider that what we have E v which is uh, I d is in which direction is, is in this direction and that is in this direction about this point. So, this E v is 3 inch apart that has a component acting here it is acting downward. It is acting towards me this force. So, that direction is considered positive. So, if we look at here this is acting E d is E v is acting this way this is positive G v what is G v that is also acting this way in multiplied by 18 this is the distance 18 and G s into 2 G s into 2 this distance from here to here this is 2 inch this is 2 inch g s into 2 minus 20 j v this is j v acting in the direction opposite to the e v that is the reason it is minus. So, these 3 are acting in the same direction it is acting in the opposite direction that gives us 0 and if we solve these equations from this equation we get the value of j v as 12100 pound. Now, again if we consider the summation of forces in the vertical direction as it is shown here E v G v J v is already known I v also need to be found out that that gives us since these 3 are known this is known this is known and this is known that leads to the solution of I v as 17130 pound. Similarly, we are supposed to consider moment about I v here we considered about I d that means, in the drag direction from the point i here from the point i in the vertical direction about this line. So, this will help us to find out. So, if we see that T e is acting here this is the force T e is acting clockwise that is considered positive E d cross 3 A d cross 3 this is acting in the opposite direction that is the reason minus and 20 j d 20 j d is acting in the opposite direction as in the direct uh, uh, sorry 20 j d here it is shown opposite along E d, but here it is considered uh, in this direction and it is giving uh, as a force. So, if we consider this way that solves the gives the understanding better and considering that direction we have the j d force as 1375. So, similarly if we consider in the drag direction the summation of forces that gives us the value of I d. So, with these considerations all the unknowns in the landing gear are solved even in the torque links uh, the forces are also solved and we can have a check. We, which we need to do in, in our next slide what we will see is it may be considered as homework what you have seen. So, in this uh, slide what we see is that the reactions are now checked by considering the entire structures as free body diagram and summations in all the direction V, D and S has been checked and moments equations are also checked and it, it gives us 0. So, this may be considered as homework and you can solve this problem. 
So, with this uh, solution of landing gear problem, two examples we uh, cover the landing gear solutions and we will move forward to the next lecture. And in this lecture, what we have uh, learned is that how to solve the landing gear problems considering that as a space structure. And uh, thank you for attending this uh, lecture. We will meet again uh, in the next lecture with some other problem. Thank you.